you might be given a reaction and a table that looks like this. The table shows different trials of this reaction, in which different concentrations of reactants were used. The last column gives the initial rate that was observed for that reaction trial. Based on this information, you will be asked to construct the rate law for the given reaction. Now, you might be tempted to say that the rate law will be K times each reactant's concentration raised to the powers of their respective coefficients. But remember, that can only be done for elementary reactions. We haven't been told whether this is an elementary or multi-step reaction, and so we are going to have to find the rate law a different way. First, find two trials in which only one reactant's concentration is altered. So see trials 1 and 3 here. For these two reactions, the concentrations of B and C are the same. But reactant A's concentration is doubled. If we compare the initial rates of these two reactions, we see that it also doubled. Since a doubling of A's concentration doubled the initial rate of reaction, we say that A is a first-order reactant. Now look at trials 1 and 4. While the concentrations of A and C remain constant, B doubles, and the reaction rate quadruples. This quadrupling indicates that B is a second-order reactant. Lastly, look at reactions 1 and 2. While the concentrations of A and B remain constant, C's concentration doubles. But comparing the two trials' initial rates, there's no change. This tells us that reactant C bears no effect on the rate law, and that C is a zero-order reactant. Knowing each reactant's order, we can construct the rate law. The rate of this forward reaction will equal K times the concentration of each reactant raised to their respective orders. Since C is a zero-order reactant, and anything to the power of zero is equal to one, we can just omit it from the rate law. If asked for the overall order of the reaction, we'd know that the first order reactant A and second order reactant B yield a third order reaction. As we can see mathematically, increasing the concentration of reactants A or B will increase the rate of the reaction. After all, more reactants equals more collisions.